Three years ago, I left Paris and moved to Silicon Valley. It's a place where you're told to be unreasonable. You're taught to be foolish. So I did something foolish. I decided to solve a problem that has plagued humanity for 2,000 years, information overload. My idea was simple. There is too much information available and we have very little time. Why not build an app that makes news fit my schedule? And so Nod, News On Demand, was born. Nod is a mobile app that tailors content to your available time and attention. With Nod, you can basically catch up on three days of news in five minutes, or more, obviously. But getting from my simple idea to this simple product was anything but simple. I made mistakes from day one. Today, I will share with you what I did wrong, how one word then changed everything, and why I now believe I may not be that foolish after all. When I first mentioned tailoring news to your time, you may have pictured a clock. That's what I did. My initial prototypes all asked the user to move a dial or set a timer, and users were not really impressed. They didn't like it, they didn't hate it, the worst. I didn't understand what was going wrong until I walked up to two busy uh, women on a morning commute in the San Francisco subway, and they helped me understand what was not working. The first one said, when I open the app, I'm already telling you that I have some time. And the second one noted, news, it's not that important. What they were both saying is that the quantity of time didn't matter as much as quality time. They didn't need to set time, they needed to save time. So these two women answered a question I had forgotten to ask. Why? Why do people read news or not? Why do people do anything? Two takeaways here. One, walking up to strangers and asking them uh, at random about their behavior is way more gratifying than it sounds. I highly encourage it. And two, challenge the obvious by asking why. Someone who's standing on their toes trying to reach a book on a bookshelf doesn't need a ladder. They need what's in the book. Ideas, imagination, education. So once I figured this out, execution seemed easy. With the help of a grant from the Knight Prototype Fund and a small team, we built an MVP in four months. Now it was released in the App Store um, last October. And then something amazing happened. Users said they felt better informed while receiving smaller portions of news. I was feeling I had just gotten closer to solve a 2,000 year old problem. And so we want to extend the experiment, give less news to more people. Uh, we currently work on launching not in French and for specific uh, interests like industry related news or event related news like the Oscars or the Cannes Film Festival. I know there's opportunity. Three out of four smartphone users get news on their device. Seven out of eight app sessions last less than 10 minutes. That means that in the US alone, 125 million people would need a time efficient news experience on mobile. But as a journalist, I feel it's also my duty to, to bridge this attention gap. We fail the next generation of citizens if we don't work as hard to get information to them as we work on reporting on it. And um, recent events in France after the terror attacks on Charlie Hebdo reminded me of this. There were so many ill-informed shortcuts published by my friends on Facebook and Twitter. While all their questions and issues were covered at length um, in a diverse and balanced manner in traditional media. But no one was paying attention to this. I think, though, that we should not lament the little attention news gets. We need to work on increasing quality time with news. And if you want to help me do this, come find me. Thank you. Yeah.